This is a Zeiss Axial Scope 2 upright fluorescence microscope. We've configured it with a 100 watt HBO lamp housing with the power supply. We've got a 100 watt halogen transmitted illumination system. And we've got a trinocular head with a photo port and a C-mount with a camera attached. You'll have to look at the actual ad specifications to see which, if any, cameras are included with this microscope. We have a UV filter on the front. This blocks extraneous light reflecting from the slide. And we have a condenser on the front. This particular condenser has a dark field setting, a bright field setting, a phase one, two, and three setting. And on our objectives, we have we have a 2.5x objective, and when you use that, you're going to need to turn this knob and take the top lens and flip the top lens out of position when you're doing very low power such as 2.5 pow 2 power, 5 power. For the other objectives you have it up. We do have phase contrast objectives 5, 10, and 20, and 100 phase. Those phase objectives are going to relate to your phase annulus and your condenser. So if you have a phase three objective, you're going to need to turn it to three on your condenser. We have fluorescence cubes, dichroic cubes, inside the cube holder. There are three cubes plus a dark field. And the, the dark field setting is also good for bright field and phase. So bright field, phase, dark field all in one setting, and the others all have dichroic filter cubes for the fluorescence. The head you can rotate, you can set your interpupillary distance. You have diopters on both eyepieces. That's to get one foot. If you focus everything on this eye, then you can change this diopter so your other eye has everything in focus. You have a right handed XY stage. And you have three, four filters, neutral density, 1.5, 6, and 25 percent. And you have a diffusing filter, diffusing filter and three neutral density filters. This is your variable intensity on your halogen illumination. You have a filter slider. This acts as a shutter for your, for your HBO lamp, and it also has a filter that you would normally use when you're using your HBO lamp. So we've got a viewing aid at the back. This is for adjusting your bulb, centering your bulb. You don't have to use this though. There are other ways you can simply put on. You can simply look into the eyepieces and adjust these knobs until your image is optimal. This is a collector focusing knob. Moves your collector in and out until it's properly in focus. This is all for your epi illumination fluorescence imaging. All these other knobs are for centering the bulb. 
The halogen also has three knobs for centering the bulb. This knob pulls is for separating the, the bottom from the top so you can access your bulb. This connection goes to the back of the transformer, the power transformer. If you have any questions about this Zeiss Axial Scope 2 upright fluorescence microscope, please contact us. We'd be happy to reconfigure this however you may need. Thank you.